Hey you guys, so this is the second read. If you're watching this one, go check back on the channel for the first read. So I'm actually waiting for the first one to upload. So I'm trying to multitask today, but I'm gonna ask like what's coming toward you guys. So let's see what shows up. What's coming towards all signs? What's coming towards all signs? So we got a yes coming out. So y'all, I feel like spirit is kind of like saying yes to some type of like new venture. This could be in regards to business, but it's something new. So, okay, that's something to look forward to. So it says, I am ready for new ventures. So something could be um, about to come towards you to where it's an opportunity for you, for something new or for you to start something new. So we got yes, that's coming out. I should have pulled another one. Let me get some more. What's coming towards the collective, all signs? So we got makeover, but we also do have trouble. What's this about? Let me see. Mm. So this makeover card came out, but let me see what's going on here. Mm -hmm. Tell me about this makeover card for all signs. Tell me more about, um, ooh. I got on a face mask and I did not want to get into the camera. I was like, <laughs> make sure I don't have to bend over. But um, let me get another one. If this could be something in regards to um, your spiritual awakening too. So let me see. Tell me more about makeover. Tell me about makeover for all signs. Tell me about makeover for all signs. So we got spiritual gifts locked. But I feel like with some type of make oh, it's almost like a um it's kind of like in a sense it's like a spiritual makeover, y'all. But it's spiritual gifts locked. But we also too have celebrate. So it looks really good in regards to you celebrating some type of new venture. So yeah, I'm gonna pull an energy card too to see what shows up. What's coming towards the collective? All signs. What's coming towards all signs? So we got the temple path, you guys. And I've seen, I've seen, um, what's my card? The wrong path or something. For some of you guys, you're meant to go down a certain path, what is the temple path. So this is about your spiritual path, like your spiritual journey. You know, everybody does not have the same type of journey. So it's like whatever experiences um, that you have, it's like, it's not going to be like everybody else's. It could be similar, but it's not the exact same. It's like very unique. And spirit is about to open this door, you guys. We do have indecision that showed up at the bottom too. Like when I had moved this um, door to spirit here. So it's like spirit is opening up this door. Um, I do feel like it's almost like in a way I'm getting kind of like Cinderella vibes. That's crazy y'all because I don't think I even mentioned it here on this channel. But um, I had a dream about seeing it. <laughs> this may sound crazy, but it's I seen a, the Disney princesses, but I seen like the silhouette of them. And I specifically remember seeing like Princess Tiana and um, like Cinderella. And it was like the other ones too. But I seen like the silhouette of them. It was like very um, magical. Okay. It was like a Disney movie or something. But yeah, with this door to spirit showing up, I feel like um, for some of you guys, you're getting some type of makeover. That's what it feels like. And you know how Cinderella, her um, fairy, what is it? I don't even know, y'all. Excuse me if I'm getting it wrong. But you know her, um, the godmother or something? Her fairy godmother? It's like she kind of like gave her a makeover. And it was like instantly, basically. That's what it feels like for somebody. So it looks really good in regards to you going down like this new path. Or it's like spirit could be like changing your direction too. So let me see what's going on. I'm going to take this card. Actually, I'm going to get one more. Excuse me. But yeah, I'm going to just get one more. What's coming towards the collective? Oh, we got caring connections. 
Yeah, I swear, I don't be trying to do like a love read. I guess because I'm just like, you know, vibing kind of high. I don't know. But yeah, caring connections, okay? We have happy family. So yeah, it, this could be something that you've been wanting to with this happy family, y'all. Um, This is like a, a situation that you can trust with this happy family. It's like, of course, it's not going to be perfect. I don't want to make it seem like it's some type of like fairy tale or like a, a Disney movie. Of course, y'all going to have some issues, but overall it's like you're going to be happy the number four could be very significant too and also two threes like you could be seeing like three 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 i actually had caught three 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 on the timer but i was talking but i feel like some things are changing within some connections so there could be a caring connection that's coming your way so go ahead and claim me in the comment section y'all i feel like um and that's if you truly believe it y'all i still try to have hope and um, optimism here out here but you know not everybody is on the same page but I just feel strongly that the divine would never you know lead you astray or the divine would never leave you out especially if you are like a caring person and you have been doing the work basically it's like you're on the right path it's like of course you're going to come into somebody who um if some, somebody who's similar to you, they could be wanting the same thing. They could have the same um, beliefs as you too. So don't ever feel like you're alone. But I'm going to pull some cards and see what shows up. Tell me about the temple path for all signs. Tell me about the temple path for all signs. For some of y'all, you could actually feel left out in the cold, y'all. You are not alone. We got a five of pentacles. Yeah, ace of swords. So I see some type of breakthrough happening, y'all. And look, ten of cups. So yeah, this is this could be the happy family. It's like the happy, um, almost like a happy ending type of situation. And of course, I don't want to make it sound like some type of fairy tale. But whatever your ten of cups could be to you. So yeah, five of pentacles is ace of swords. I feel like this is some type of breakthrough happening for someone. It's like right now on your path. It's like you could feel left out in the cold. It's like you could be worried too. But don't feel like you're not worthy of having a happy family if you don't have that energy or a caring connection too. Tell me about caring connections for all signs. An air sign could be very significant. Eight of wands that's showing up here too. So I do feel like there's some type of shift that's happening it's like things could definitely be picking up especially if you have been in this period where it's like maybe you were like worried or feeling left out in the cold i see someone being moved out of that energy but we got the king of swords that came out an air sign could be very significant like a masculine air sign um aquarius gemini a libra someone's loyal though and i never really noticed this little um I forgot somebody had told me what this was but it's like a mystical creature or whatever but it looks like a doll right yeah whoever this is they're loyal tell me more and also so y'all i'm hearing this is like a peer connection and it's like of course nobody's perfect but i keep seeing where it's like um in the cars it's like they're dressed in white this is like a divine um connection here for someone caring connection tell me more about caring connections for tell me about caring connections for all signs ten of wands knight of pentacles so yeah with this energy that's showing up here you guys spirit is going to put down your burdens and this is why i feel like that um what card was that? That door to spirit? It's like, why would spirit let you walk through this door with all these burdens? That don't even make sense. So it's like, it's okay to put down those burdens or whatever this caring connection is, you're going to be able to put down those burdens. Tell me about happy family for all signs. Oh. Okay, we got the Haman showing in the tower. Because I was about to say it looked like the tower was trying to pop out, but it went back into the deck, but it actually showed up at the bottom. So yeah, and with the Haman coming out, from what I'm seeing here, for some of y'all, you could be kind of like um, 
I feel like someone's like in the in between or something. There could be communication that needs to happen within this um this caring connection, but someone's thinking about. Someone could be thinking about having a happy family with you or, you know, the roles could be reversed. But yeah, with the Tower card showing up here, you guys, this could definitely be happening like unexpectedly. It's like one, look, one minute you're in this Five of Pentacles type of energy. You could be crying, like sad. Um, you may even feel like you're missing out on things too. You may feel lonely. And then the next thing you know, it's like you get this communication and like things just really change for you. And not saying the other person has to make you happy, y'all, or whatever this caring connection is. It could just be like somebody, a part of your soul tribe. Basically, it's like, you know that the person cares about you. You ain't got to worry about them talking about, talking about you behind your back or backstabbing you, hurting you, talking down on you. So whatever that could be for you, it could be something that you don't have right now. Tell me more about the temple path. So we got the full. See, there's a new start that's coming in. But there could be fear. And I feel like it could be fear. Someone could have abandonment issues too. That's what I'm hearing. But Spirit's saying put that down. Because I feel like someone's carrying, someone's still carrying that baggage on them. It's like you could have let, got left out on the cold too. You could have had people that took from you too. Like I feel like a very sad energy with this fire with pencil. You see how she laying down there? We got the nine of wands. So yeah, it's like you've been through a lot. And I do feel like too, this could be testing your faith as well with this nine of wands. But yeah, it's like this, um, I feel like you have the strength too to keep moving forward. You may feel like you are depleted. That's what I'm hearing too. It's like someone feels like they're depleted possibly of energy. But no, you still have enough strength and you are being fully supported too by moving forward. I feel like someone just needs to have faith here, too. We got the hair front card. This could be something that you've been praying about, too. But it looks like someone could have definitely walked away. It's like you've already walked away from some, th from some things that no longer serve you uh, with this Eight of Cups. Or it's like basically finally moving on. I feel this energy of like someone needed to let go of something, though. It's like maybe you did have to walk away from a certain situation, even though... You feel left out in the cold. Tell me about this Ace of Swords for all signs. Tell me about this Ace of Swords for all signs. Uh-uh. Tell me about this Ace of Swords for all signs. You had Ten of Swords. We got the double card showing up here too. And we got the lovers that came out yeah you guys are done i'm here's sorry spirit is saying them toxic relationships y'all are done with now take it how it resonates because not everybody on the same path you'll know if you on the, on the right path because the path is very lonely okay so if you're feeling left out in the cold you ain't missing out on nothing but just know that the divine spirit did not even forget about you okay they're gonna bring in somebody who um is wanting the same things that you're wanting to yeah, but this Ten of Swords that's showing up here in the Devil card. And then we had the Lover's card that came out too at the bottom of the deck, y'all. Yeah, those toxic relationships, partnerships are done. It, this could be in regards to like friends, family too that's showing up. It's kind of like you took one for the team too. That's <laughs> I know that sounds really bad, don't it? But look, with this Ten of Swords, it's like you were chosen to take these Ten of Swords. Tell me about makeover. But a page of swords justice. With this page of swords that's showing up here, someone could be seeing like a um, cause you know like what makeover, it don't have to be like makeup or nothing, but it's just like a transformation or something, or kind of like a glow up type of situation. Tell me about makeover for all signs. That first read probably done um that first three probably done uploading by now. Seven of Swords. Somebody in your energy could be watching, or someone has someone has secretly um, has feelings for someone, y'all. Yeah, Nine of Cups, Seven of Pentacles. Somebody could be seeing you as one. They want to like invest in a 
I'm going to just say connection for right now. But yeah, with the Nine of Cups showing up, let's just see. Oh, someone sees like someone's glow up with this Nine of Cups. You could have did something different to like your, um, yeah, Nine of Swords, Page of Pentacles. Is somebody in your energy, y'all, where they see something different about you? You could have got, you could have did something different with your, um, with your clothes or hair. Also, too, I'm seeing where someone could have just got recently got some type of like contact to something. It's like heavy emphasis, like on the eyes or something. Like someone's looking at someone's eyes, but it's like it's more so like the eye color. So I'm not really sure what that's about. But they see something like I feel like someone sees some type of glow up with somebody. But it's not a cups. Someone's like happy with someone's like appearance to y'all, even though, you know, looks don't really matter. But from what I'm seeing here in the read, yeah. Tell me more. Tell me about this page of swords. Because the, uh, the page of swords showed up in the last read too. Tell me about this page of swords. Yeah, four of pentacles. Yeah, whoever this is, this could be you or um, somebody else in your energy. They're holding on to how they really, really feel. It's kind of like a self-preserve um, type of energy. Five of swords. There's mental conflict surrounding um, communication. Yeah, Knight of Cups. Yeah, it's a glow up, y'all. We got the Emperor. That's why I kept hearing like glow up. Like somebody thinks that someone like glowed up or something. Or it's like you could look very glowy, like very radiant. Five of swords, two of swords, two. Um, oh, you know what this is, y'all? It's something about... Because I was trying to figure out, I was like, there's some type of... I kept hearing, like, differences or something. Someone could see you as someone who's, like, very different. But it's like, the mental conflict is coming in from, like, who they are as a person. They may try to feel... They may try to... They try to figure out... how is this going to work or something? Because they could see you as someone who's like very different from them. That's what it looks like. I feel, But I feel like it has something to do with someone's like appearance. It's like something different about you. And you could look very, yeah, with the star card showing up in the two of swords. There's like blocked emotions here surrounding someone's like happiness. It's like, Someone's really happy or like you're really happy um, about some type of connection or something that's in your energy here. It's somebody that you already know, y'all, or it's like they're already in your energy. So I don't know exactly who it could be. But I, I do see something in regards to like differences. It's kind of like night and day because there's like a black bird right here and a white bird. And I feel like that's where the mental conflict is coming in from. Tell me more about this energy. Three of Pentacles, Black Newman. Something could be going on at work, y'all. What is Three of Pentacles that's showing up? That is showing up a lot. There could be, oh, you know what it is? Because I'm trying to figure out. I see, because I keep hearing differences. It's like something's different. It could be like what somebody does for work. It's like two, to, two totally different like career paths, but somehow it just works. That's what it is. I'm, trying to figure, <laughs> I'm over here playing Blue's Clues. I'm like, what in the world? It's some type of difference. So that's what it is. Like something dealing with work, but somehow, some way, y'all, it's like you're gonna be able to like collaborate. That's crazy, and I ain't about to read too much into it because I'm getting mental conflict just thinking about it. Tell me more about this energy.
Yeah, Knight of Pentacles. So this kind of like the same energy is showing up for y'all from the last read. Ace of Wands. I feel like this one had like a little bit more insight. But yeah, there's like differences between um within this caring connection. And I would just try to give an example. This may be kind of bad. I don't know. With this caring connection, it's like the woman could be um <laughs> the woman could be. And let me think of one. I can't even think of one, but it's something like totally off with like what they do for work or how they earn money. But somehow, some way, it's like two people collaborating. And it's like they could have came from two different walks of life too. But yeah, somehow it just works. That's what's showing up here. I see change happening. Some of you guys could actually be needing to keep an open mind though about some type of new connection. It's almost like you could be saying, I would never date this person or that type of person or somebody who does this. It's like, no. But what if the divine put y'all together to come together, basically? So, yeah, that's pretty much what's showing up here, y'all. Um, I hope that it resonates. And I'll see y'all in the next read.